Hey you guys, Laura here, and today I'm gonna be taking you through a Pilates inspired runner's warm up. So like I mentioned, we are going to be going through a short warm, warm up. We're going to keep the reps low because we're going to be going out for a run right after this. And we're going to focus on engaging through the core, the hips, and also some active mobility and stretching so that we can optimize our gait when we go for our run. So if you haven't already grabbed your mat, go ahead and grab it and meet me there. This is a follow along workout program. And then also, if you haven't already subscribed to my page, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, ring the bell so that you get the notifications of when a new video gets put onto my channel and we are going to get started in a seated position. I want you to start with your feet about hip width apart and you're going to be facing down the lane of your mat. Hands can go behind your legs or reach them forward. We're going to start with our half rollbacks. We're going to go halfway backwards towards the mat and then we're going to sit up all the way nice and tall. Halfway backwards towards the mat and then sit up nice and tall. So like I mentioned, you can take your hands behind your legs if you need that assistance for your core, for your belly. But what we're starting to do here is we're starting to get that core activation. You're not rotating as you roll back. And we're also opening up that lower back. We're gonna do three more here. I know we said that we were gonna keep the reps light. We are gonna do 10 on this first one. Last two. One more, this one you're gonna take it all the way downwards towards the ground. For today, we're gonna to keep our knees bent and flat to the floor for our hundreds. Take your hands upwards towards the sky. Hands will come down to your hips, lift the head, neck, and shoulders up, hold it here. And we're gonna to start to pump our hands up and down. As we pump our hands up and down, we're gonna to start to add in some breathing. Big inhale. Big exhale. Big inhale. Big exhale. Big in. Big out. Big in. Big out. Big in. Big out. And we're only going to do 50 counts. So rest your head, neck, and shoulders on down. Straighten out your legs for your full roll up. Hands will go up to the sky first, then reach behind you. Big stretch in opposition, toes one way, hands the other. Hands back up to the sky, roll up, reach forward towards your toes, hamstring stretch here, and then roll yourself back downwards towards the ground. You have the option to go back to the half rollbacks that we started with this program. Otherwise, stay with me in this full variation. Every time you reach forward, we're trying to stretch the hamstring, stretch the back. Every time we reach the hands backwards, you wanna hug your belly into your back. So make sure that lower back stays connected. We're gonna do one more here for five. And then we're gonna end laying down on the ground. Now we're gonna continue to stretch those hamstrings. I want you to take your hands to the ground, bend one knee, and then your leg that ended up staying straight, mine's my right foot. I'm gonna lift it to the sky, flex my foot, bring it down to the ground, all the way to the ground. Point lift, flex down. Point lift, flex down. So now I'm starting to warm up that ankle mobility. As I lift up, I'm trying to lift from my belly. So I'm gonna use my core to help me run later. So I wanna try to start engaging it, warming it up. I also am slightly contracting through the front of my thigh to help me stretch my hamstring. One more. Bend your right knee, straighten your left leg, and we do the same thing on the other side, 10. Lift, lower, point, flex. I point as I go up and I flex as I go down. Or you can switch it around if you want to. No big deal. You just want to make sure you're switching from having your toes away from you and your toes towards you. 
Last one. Awesome. Lift the head, neck, and shoulders up. Pull one knee into your chest and the other one away for your single leg stretch. From here, try to curl up forward towards your knee and we're gonna switch and switch. So it's almost like the bicycle kick without the twisting. I'm warming up my legs in that high knee. You think of like that sprinting kind of position. Feel my glutes as I press my leg out and away from me. So I don't want to see my leg drop. I want to have my butt strong to help push my leg away, push the ground away. One more right, one more left. Then from here, we're going to straighten out your leg up to the sky. Once again, find that hamstring stretch. Can you tell? I really like to stretch the hamstrings in the lower back. Pull, pull, and switch. Pull, pull, and switch. Same thing. Stay active with the leg that goes down. I don't want to see it hang off of your lower back, hang off of your pelvis. We're trying to activate those lower abs. They're going to help us stabilize our spine. They're going to help us stabilize our hips. They're going to help us generate power to run. One more right side. One more left side and then rock up to a seated position. I'm gonna go right into what's called saw. Feet are gonna be separated. I'm sitting up tall. Open up your arms to the side. And from here, twist your spine, come back center. Switch directions. Twist your spine, come back center. As you have your feet in this V position, you wanna keep your butt connected to the floor. I'm just trying to loosen up now my middle and upper back as my lower body is stable. Once you feel like you've got a handle on that, we're going to do the full saw. So the next time you're at your right leg, I want you to pause. We twist to the right. I want you to take your left hand to your right foot and your right hand behind you to the sky. Lift up, untwist. We do the same thing other way. Twist. Right hand, left foot. Lift, untwist. Twist. Left hand, right foot, up, lift. So once again, rotating from that middle back, loosening up those lats. If those lats are tight, they're gonna affect how your pelvis can work. Loosening up that lower back, making sure QL, where that hip flexor attaches onto that lower back, isn't tight so that it's not gonna affect our stride. Last twist, right hand, left foot. And then from here, zipper the legs and we're gonna flip over onto our belly. When you go onto your belly here, your legs are gonna be straight. We're gonna take your hands right by your shoulders, lift, not lift the legs, straighten the legs all the way. So I'm really thinking about flattening out my hip flexors to the ground and taking my hands right by my shoulders. From here, I'm gonna slightly lift the upper back up and then lower down. So I'm working on opening up my upper back, opening up my chest, because I want to make sure that my shoulders are not rounding forward, that I can look forward and straight ahead of me on the trail that I'm about to go on. I'm actually not going on a trail, I'm going on the road. Last two here. You want to make sure you're just working the upper back, not the lower. And then on your last one, I want you to stay up tall. And we're just going to bring our forearms underneath our shoulders. So it's kind of like you're on the beach reading a book. We're going to stretch those quads. Stretch, stretch, lower. Kick, kick, lower. So I actually didn't really feel like I was super tight today, which is why I want to do a little bit more of a Pilates warm-up before my run. That way I can get the blood flowing, blood circulating in my body loosen up my muscles but still get that activation for the muscles that are going to be working to stabilize when I run and generate power when I run but here as I do these quad stretches I can feel that my thighs are a little bit tight so I might spend some extra time foam rolling them last one awesome and then from here I want you to sit back into a child's pose stretch awesome Next, I want you to lay down on your side. 
you can use your hand as a pillow or you can use your whole arm as a pillow your choice it's up to you i'm gonna prop my head up on my hand and then i'm also gonna slightly bend my knees so that my knees are to the front of my mat and my heels are to the back of my mat just some clams i'm gonna open and close these clams are gonna help to activate my outer hips the outer hips help to stabilize the hips stabilize that pelvis Help me to keep my knees facing forward so they don't cave in or out as I run. I want to make sure that I have good alignment when I run so that I'm generating force and power from the right places. Minimize the tightness in my body. Three more here. Two. Last one. And then I'm going to switch to the other side. So not really a full mat class we kind of skipped around a little bit and we're not doing too many sit-ups we're not doing too many planks we're really just focusing on waking up the muscles waking up the core waking up the hips woke up my ankles that's really important i feel like a lot of times we forget about stretching the calves rolling the calves or even making sure that the feet are fully <laughs> awake when we're gonna be like pounding on them <laughs> or what the next 10 to 30 minutes depending on how long you're going for a run i don't know maybe you're going longer maybe it's a long run day maybe you're going for an hour i don't know but either way i feel like a lot of times we forget about our feet one more for 10. Awesome. And then from here, we're going to come up onto our knees. Last thing we're going to do here, it's called the thigh stretch. Lining up my feet right behind my knees. I want my toes not tucked under. I want my feet flat. Take your hands up to the sky. Big stretch to the ceiling. Then your hands float down and you lean back. Reach the sky and come up. Lean back. Your belly is in. Your back is not arching. And then we come up. We stretch the thighs, we work the glutes and core. Stretch the thighs, work the glutes and core. So I like this in comparison to a bridge. A bridge is also good because it really helps me to stretch my whole front line. I feel like a lot of times when we do the bridge, we focus too much on the hips going up to the ceiling that we end up caving and arching in that lower back. And then we lose that quad stretch, that thigh stretch. One more here and then hands come down last last thing <laughs> i know i said the thigh stretch was the last thing that we're gonna do is i'm gonna have you take one leg out hands behind your head we're gonna come down to the ground and lift so it's a side bend down and lift good keep going just like that we only do six so this is already three we're gonna do each side six times <sighs> So we move the body in all planes of motion, flexion, extension, rotation, lateral flexion. That's super important. Go ahead and switch directions so that we can make sure that the muscles are all warmed up in all the directions, all the planes of motion that it can go in. Because even though when we're running, we're going forward, there's a lot of anti-rotation. There's a lot of force that we're absorbing. There's a lot of work that the body is doing in all of those multiple planes. One more. And then done. Awesome job, you guys. So if you have any questions about how a warm-up should be structured, I do have a blog written on that. So I'll leave that in the description below. If you enjoyed this workout, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And I'd love to know what kind of run are you doing today? What did you do this warm-up for? Are you doing a long run, short run, sprint intervals? Let me know. Love to hear what you're working on. And I will see you guys next time in my next video. Remember, if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button, ring the notification bell so that you can keep seeing the different workouts that I post, the workout tips, fitness tips, nutrition, lifestyle tips that I have so that we can help you work towards your fitness goals. See you next time.